Alrighty, everyone. So the fourth part of the process that's important to be able to work on is untying those knots or being able to pick up those really tightly bound shoelaces towards the bottom of the shoe because I will be sharing a couple of modifications to the modified shoe tying technique if those aglets are ruined, you know, they're falling apart, or if it's just not going to be that easy to poke them into the holes. So it's important to know how to build those kind of fine untying skills. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three activities today, and we're mainly going to be using uh, rubber bands, those little small trinket items, those uh, things of Play-Doh, and then also using tape or band-aids, you know, is what I use in my example. And you'll use all of those to be able to work on kind of that picking skill um, when that's needed for being able to untie a knot or to be, be being able to pick up those little tightly bound shoelaces for those additional modifications for shoe tying. The other way that this activity can work on that skill of being able to like untie really tight knots or when the laces are really close together and you need to kind of lift it up, you can do this same activity where you're pushing things into the Play-Doh, but not only are you pushing them into the Play-Doh, you're also digging around. So once you hide them, maybe the adult can hide them and then the kid has to dig, has to push around and pull the items out. So they have to kind of knead the Play-Doh around to be able to find where the items are at. And that works on that kind of like, that those small finger skills of having to pick at something and really try to pull it apart. And you could again, do that with different types of small kind of interest items like you know, buttons, beads, little action, you know, like small action figures, uh, erasers and such. Okay, so for this activity, you're gonna use those little small high interest trinkets, little action figures, erasers, anything that is small, um, or it could be kind of a little bit larger. And um, what you're gonna also use is rubber bands. And this activity, again, works on that little fine pinching skill of being able to pick things apart that's necessary for untying a knot or being able to pick up the laces that are really like tightly bound. And so as you can kind of see, since it's wrapped around a high interest item, the game is kind of like, oh, like, you know, rescue, rescue such and such. And so the trick is just really trying to get them to use those pincher fingers to be able to pull the rubber band and slowly unwrap it. And then, you know, the same for, for this one. So, and it might be a little tricky in the beginning of figuring out, okay, like which one do I pull from yet? So there might be some guidance of, you know, that tactile cue of like, okay, start here. Um, and then it kind of just unravels. And so really using that, that strength of having to untie something by the use of rubber bands. Oh, there goes Batman's head and that. And then you can just kind of have a bunch of items that are all tied up, uh, whether they're small or big, um, regardless, they're still going to have to use that really isolated grass to try to pick it up um, and to untie it, which is what really, really gives that most authentic experience for untying shoelaces or picking up laces to fix something. Okay, so for this third activity, you can use a few different items. Again, kind of going back to that little small trinket thing, really trying to motivate the kiddo with um, wanting to use those little small fine pincher skills. And so uh, you could use little plastic eggs or anything that kind of is like a cup-like thingy that's small, um, a cupcake tin, anything. Uh, and then you'll kind of want to use tape. I have, right now I just had uh, band-aids on hand. So kind of just trying to represent what the activity is like. So using like a, um, the painter's tape, and then, uh, or you can just use something that is just like a flat surface. So as you can see, I kind of use the little bunny erasers as an example for that small trinket. And the goal was to try to rescue them as well, but using tape to rescue them from, because it works on that, that fine skill of having to really manipulate something and then pull it off. And so ripping off the band-aid to save the little, the little bunny, and then the same for if you have it on like the table. So say if you like tie down a bunch of things with tape on the table and they have to rescue them, really having them have to like pinch, pinch at the, the tape to really try to pull it up. And then boom, the bunny is rescued.